Welcome to 180. Do you like penguins? Welcome to the first penguin parade of 2022. The keeper opens the door and any penguins that choose to participate can come on the walk. Later in the day, they'll walk back to their indoor habitat. All right, sign the petition in the comments to have penguins as the official 180 mascot. And for one specific one, I'll submit this guy for nomination. Pretty cute, right? Okay, before we get too far in here, I wanna test your trivia with a quick game of true or false. Put your answers in the comments where I'm gonna be checking to see who's true and who's false. When I was in middle school, I played soccer, but one season I was super disappointed and I really just wanted to quit. See, I just wanted to be the goalie. I had been playing for a few seasons at that point and I knew that goalie was the position that I wanted to play. Unfortunately, the coach didn't feel that way. The coach put me on defense and I was very disappointed. And like I said earlier, I kind of just wanted to quit. See, in my mind, being a goalie was so much cooler than being on defense. So much so that I actually lost sight of what my job really was. In the Bible, there's this guy named Paul. He used to be called Saul, and we've actually talked about him a lot at 180. He's the guy who hunted Christians and then was blinded by God on the way to Damascus, where he changed his name to Paul and gave his life over to God. See. Paul wrote these words in 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, verse 12. Just as the body, though one, has many parts, but all of its parts form one body, so it is with Christ. The body has many parts. They're all different, but they're all valuable. See, I had spent so much time wanting to be the goalie that I had forgotten that my job was to protect the goalie. We actually needed each other. All right, last week I shared some ways that you can crush your goals, but it may have left you wondering what goals should I even choose? And maybe even, what good are my goals? How can I use my goals to serve and make the world better? I wanna leave you with five steps to finding a good goal for you. The first thing is, feel it. Start by thinking about your passions. You have a lot of things that are unique about you after all. So where should you start? Ask the question, what makes me excited? What brings me lots of energy? Start there. It's a really good place to start. And when you have a few ideas, write them down. If you're really stuck, ask God or a close friend or a family member. They might have some insight on what excites you. Next, you have to own it. You have to believe that distinct things can happen through your distinct relationship with Jesus and the distinct gifts that he's given you. So what do you need to own right now? Do you need to believe that your gifts are valuable? That God can use you? That you matter? 
Write those down. Next, try it. If you want to use your gifts to serve others, the solution is often easier than you think it is. You have to try something. Write down one thing or 10 things that you just want to try. Okay, number four, improve it. When you've found something that seems like it's working, dig in deeper and get even better at it. Whether it's a cause that you believe in, a ministry or organization that you love, or a group of people that you care about, or a skill that you wanna master, do everything you can to grow in that area. Okay, number five, live it. Sometimes we can get caught up in preparing to do something, so much so that we actually forget that we need to do it. We hide behind our plans and our visions and our lives, but we never get around them. We never start living them out. Don't get stuck in that trap. Write down specific things that you want to do to serve others with your distinct gifts, and then go and do it. Inside all of us is a purpose. God created us with it. God created us with that purpose. It can take a little bit of time to find it, and we might hit a few bumps along the way, but it's there. God has given us all purpose. And once we find that purpose, we start to fit in and we start to find where we belong. And soon you'll realize where you are in the body of Christ.